Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in this morning's business news distilled for you in three minutes. This is a cut down version of my weekday newsletter, Watson's Daily, in which I usually comment on a number of companies and themes. Can I beat the buzzer? Today, I'm going to talk about Argentina's nightmare and next unexpectedly good results. Argentina is in an absolute mess at the moment and it is currently negotiating with the IMF for a bailout package while simultaneously trying to stem rampant inflation. It has hiked up the interest rate to a stellar 60% to address this, but it has additional problems. For instance, its currency, the peso, fell another 5% yesterday, in addition to the 50% it's already lost versus the dollar so far this year, on news that the head of its central bank, Luis Caputo, resigned after spending only three months in the job. Clearly, this isn't exactly great timing, as Argentina is currently on strike in protest against President Macri's dramatic austerity measures. Caputo's replacement will be respected economist Guido Sandleris. It would seem like a bit of a hospital pass to me, but I hope it goes well and that Argentina can pull itself out of the rut it is in. Secondly, Next had some surprisingly good numbers yesterday and the shares went up about 8% on the back of it. Everyone had been expecting poor sales figures for the summer, but they never materialised, hence the share price rise. Next has been closing stores up to now and renegotiating rents for its existing store estate, but the chief executive isn't taking nothing for granted. At the end of the day, we all know how volatile performance can be for clothing retailers as their customer bases can be quite fickle, given the competitive nature of the sector. The company said that it would more than double its investment in digital marketing this year while simultaneously halving spend on direct mail, print and TV advertising. It's also ramping up warehouse capacity to service increasing online sales. Now, I think this is all sounds like the company is moving in the right direction, but surely they can cut out things like Next Directory and move it all online. It all seems a bit of an anachronism to me these days. You can get more detail on these stories and more in my weekday blog on watsonsdaily.com. For instance, in today's edition, I talk about no confidence in the Swedish Prime Minister, Hotel Chocolat's overseas ambitions, BMW and Toyota's contrasting take on Trump's tariffs, and an important development, uh, development for one of AstraZeneca's cancer drugs. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. Please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you are interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson, out.